everyone welcome back to gk today i am nuzat sana and in this video i'll discuss today's top current and static general studies questions for upsc prelims examination 2022 onwards and these questions are framed keeping in view both the factual as well as analytical aspects of upsc prelims exam also i would like to inform you that these questions are part of gk today's upsc prelims test series which is available in gk today android app and the test series for 2022 prelims examination comprises total of 7500 questions divided 2500 questions on current general studies and 5000 questions on static general studies and the series has started from may 2021 and it will end with upsc prelims examinations 2022 so if you wish to access all questions of gk today upsc prelims test series you may subscribe the test series in the app So now without wasting any further time let's get started Hello everyone welcome to our brand new series of UPSC prelims model questions practice and today it is your third lecture So those who are new to this channel let me inform you briefly that this particular series is our latest initiative in which every day we'll be discussing top 5 questions that are relevant for your upcoming UPSC prelims examination Also we will not just see which of the questions are right and which are wrong Rather we will analyze each of the statements in a detailed manner to make our concepts crystal clear okay so now let's start question number 1 which of the following is are the names of rice varieties of india so you have to identify which among the four given options are the rice varieties which are found in india okay so first is navara this is actually medicinal rice variety that originated in the state of kerala and this variety of rice finds mention in the 12th century ayurvedic text named as ashtanga ridyam it is actually one of the three major literary works of ayurveda and this text has been composed by eminent scholar vag bhat okay so this one is correct second is kala namak so this rice is a scented rice variety that originated from state of uttar pradesh and it has been in cultivation since 600 bc also it is called as the scented black pearl of uttar pradesh okay due to the nice fragrance it contains fine so this is also correct third is chak hao it is actually a black rice variety that is cultivated in the state of manipur this particular variety of rice has two most important properties first is it is an aromatic variety and it has glutinous property as well okay glutinous means something that is sticky so yes this is also right and last is ambe mohar this one is another fragrance rice variety and it is cultivated at the foothills of western ghats in the state of maharashtra and its scent is similar to mango blossoms okay and that's why its name has been put after mango so here all the options are correct means these are the rice varieties which are found in india so your correct answer is option number d now apart from all these varieties of rice seven states in indo gangetic plain on the foothills of himalaya had got the gi tag for basmati rice variety basmati rice is quite famous in india and which are these states punjab haryana himachal pradesh then uttarakhand and few parts of uttar pradesh and jammu kashmir okay also do remember that india is the largest producer as well as exporter of basmati rice in the world and various islamic countries export this particular variety from india such as saudi arabia uae iran iraq and kuwait fine Now question number 2 which of the following indian celebrities have some astronomical bodies named after them so the name of four celebrities have been given in the options and you have to identify whether any astronomical body have been named after them or not okay first is pandit jasraj so do remember that he is the first indian mastro to have a minor planet named after him and this is an asteroid located between the orbits of mars and jupiter okay 
Then second is Vishwanathan Anand. He is the chess champion. And in the year 2015, another asteroid between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter was named after Vishwanathan Anand as the code 4538 Vishyanand. So this one is also correct. Then third is Sachin Tendulkar. No, there is no such astronomical body named after him. And fourth is Amitabh Bachchan. Again, no. Okay. So your correct answer is only one and two. Now there are some more important personalities who have some astronomical bodies named after them. Let's have a look. First is the minor planet 5718 Patazi was named after Dr. Sainuddin Patazi and he was a scientist from Kerala and known for his work on environmental issues. Then second is the minor planet 12599 Singhal and it was named after Akshat Singhal who is the India's youngest Microsoft certified systems engineer. Okay. Then third is 21575 Hamsa and it has been named after Hamsa Padmanabhan. And last is 12509 Pathak named after Madhav Pathak. Actually he changed the conventional braille slate making writing easier for the visually impaired. Okay, so these are some of the important personalities which you have to keep in mind. Fine. Next question, which of the following terms in news in 2021 indicates some kind of cyber attack? First is Hafnium. So this attack was a zero day attack on Microsoft Exchange servers carried out by the cyber espionage group Hafnium, which is allegedly backed by the Chinese state. And do remember that Hafnium is also the name of a chemical element whose atomic number is 72. Okay, so this one is right. Second is solar winds. So this was also a major cyber attack discovered in the USA in 2020. And it is a supply chain attack that targeted both government agencies and private firms in the USA. Okay, so this is correct. And last is Hassium. It is not a kind of cyber attack. It is rather just a synthetic element with the atomic number 108. Also, it is highly radioactive and it was produced in the lab by bombarding lead atoms with iron atoms. Okay, so this is not a type of cyber attack. So your correct answer is only one and two. Now, next question, which of the following is are the correct pairs of military exercises of Indian armed forces with forces of different countries? So basically you have to identify that India conducts these military exercises with which of the countries. Okay. First is Dustlik with Uzbekistan. So yes, Dustlik is a joint military exercise between the armies of India and Uzbekistan. And its first edition was conducted in the year 2019. And why it is now important because the second edition was recently conducted in Ranikhet in March 2021. Okay. Second is Yuddha Abhyas. So this is a bilateral joint military exercise between the armies of India and USA. It is also important because in the month of February, the 16th edition was conducted in Rajasthan. So that's why it is part of your current affairs. So due to the country problem, it is wrong because here it should be written as USA. Then third is Ajay Warrior. It is a joint military exercise between the armies of India and UK, not USA. And in the year 2020, the fifth edition of this particular exercise was conducted in UK. So this one is also wrong. And last is Surya Kiran. So this is a joint military exercise between the armies of India and Nepal and it is conducted annually and hosted by India and Nepal on alternate basis. So this is right and correct answer becomes only one and four. Now apart from it, let's talk about some of the important military exercises that were held recently. For example, there is Zayat Talwar 
it was held between India and UAE. Then there is Al Muhid Al Hindi. This was between India and Saudi Arabia. Then there is Exercise Konkan. It was held between India and UK. Then Varuna is the military exercise between India and France. Indra is between India and Russia. And Sampriti is between India and Bangladesh. Okay. Coming to last question. Which of the following rivers originate within the territory of India? So you have to identify which of the following rivers originate from India. Okay. First is Brahmaputra. So this does not originate from India. Rather it originates at the Angsi Glacier in Tibet. So this is wrong. Second is Satlaj. It is actually the easternmost tributary of River Indus and it originates west of Rakshastal Lake in Tibet and is called as Lankan Zangbo. Okay, so it originates from Tibet, so it is also not correct. Third is Indus. So basically the Indus River originates near Lake Mapam in western Tibet. And it flows through Ladakh and Gilgit Baltistan before entering to Pakistan and draining into the Arabian Sea. Okay, so this is also not right. And last is Bhagirathi. So yes, this is a source stream of River Ganga. And it arises from the Gangotri Glacier in the state of Uttarakhand. And the river Ganga is formed from the confluence of rivers Bhagirathi and Alaknanda. So your correct answer is only 4. Means option number C. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. If you have any type of suggestion, reviews and feedback regarding these lectures, you can tell us in the comment section. We will definitely consider it. So we will meet again with 5 more new and interesting questions. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meena Zarsana signing off.